expression is easier done than said. <laughs> <laughs> take and give, take and give, take and give. If he, get, if he starts coming above, you can touch him on the left side because that side will soften. Then go to the right to soften that side. So you're halfway there. Don't let the haunches go out. Don't let the haunches go out. So you forward, sit down and almost lean back and try to push him from your seat bone forward. Push, push, push. Don't take your inside leg too far back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of, you want to use it, but you want to use it up and you want to be able to push your heel down and show us the sole of your shoe. You, we don't really see the sole of your shoe because that's too much, but it's kind of the idea. What did I drop? Did I drop this? What was that here? Oh, I'll put my mic on. I'll put my mic on. But I think it's because I wiped chairs off. Oh, that's yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Take and give, take and give, take and give. Talk to him, talk to him. Then if he, if he is nice, and you can, you'll know when he's nice that you can sit in a little more and he actually responds to forward. And then <clears throat> you try to catch him before he opens up the throat latch too much. You know, where he... Okay, okay. Take your left leg back if you're going to the right. We want to get that bend around the inside leg forward. <clears throat> and left rein along the neck, leading him out or picking him up to the left. Like, then you need a lot of right rein towards the left rein. There you go. Good. Guard the haunch. Take that left leg back. Don't let it stay forward. You're kind of trying to control his shoulders with the outside leg, and you really have to control his haunch with the outside leg. So the outside leg is for the haunch. The inside leg is for the shoulder. So if he's popping that right shoulder all the time, you want that right leg forward at the girth, you know, kind of pushing your heel down and showing us the sole of your shoe and try to turn the knee in and the thigh in so that it gets to the inside, you know. In other words, take your heel out. <clears throat> That's it. Sit in, sit in, don't get forward. Don't jump up and down. No jumping, just pressing. Push, push, push. And the other thing is, lots, don't want to look to the left too much <clears throat> because he's got a left bend practically all the time. So you want that left leg way back from the hip not from the knee, from the hip. Take that left leg back. Take it back further than you think I even want it. So I can see it. There you go. There you go. And then, a miraculous, he scarred the haunches and he went that way. <laughs> okay, bend him right, bend him right, bend him right. Like he never does this. Yeah, I know. Take hard on that right rein towards the left one. <clears throat> Keep the right leg forward and try to push the shoulders over towards the left. <clears throat> he is funny. I know, he has his quirks. <clears throat> the other thing is, Rebecca, sometimes, <laughs> he won. Okay, sometimes, walk isn't the, the gate to do it in. Because okay. sometimes you need the impulsion because he's like, I can duck out behind the leg and seat so well in the walk that you cannot push me forward enough to get me. So, then you move up to trot. And when that doesn't work, like sometimes with horses off the racetrack, yes. you move up to canter. Yes. There were horses off the track that I warmed up in canter. Otherwise, I'd never have them the whole ride. <clears throat> in the beginning. God, I can't. <laughs> Bend and soften, bend and soften, bend and soften. Bend him right and soften, bend him right and soften. If he leans in, take him to the outside, both hands to the outside, even feel on them. So, yes, and then give. You, you could have given a hair sooner. Uh, it, when I said give, it was already too late and he, he, he went out again. Yeah. So, before I could. In other words, everything I say is a Day late, the dollar short. <laughs> it's like, by the time I feel it and would have done it, I can't say it that fast. Good, good girl. Bend and soften. Bend and soften. Always on this side, it's all about the bend. Get that left leg back. <laughs> 
Push that right leg forward. When you take the left leg back, you, you want the difference between them. He doesn't like you to control his shoulders. So you have to half halt on that right ring quite a bit. Like squeeze, 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 and then a big half halt. And then squeeze, and then after the half halt, give and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze again, not to lose him. So it's a lot of talking, a lot of talking on that right ring. Talk, talk, talk. He doesn't listen, you do a bigger half halt. Then you give and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze again while you're giving. It's sort of like, uh, it's sort of like just keeping it moving there that he thinks something's coming again. Good, good, good. Good job. Bend. Don't let him get bent to the left. Don't let him get bent to the left. We must shorten the right side of him and stretch, which is the harder part, the left side of him. It's kind of easier through bits and things we use to shorten the stiff side than it is to stretch the short side. So we have to stretch the short side. If you do not stretch the short side, they never take hold on that soft ring. They just completely crunch into themselves and the more you try, the more short they get on that side. So it's partly stretching muscles. You know, like if you were gonna work out, you know, stretching certain muscles. <clears throat> Bend and soften, bend and soften. Don't let him look left. Don't let him look left. Don't let him look left. Keep asking him on the right. That a girl, get it. yes, let him take a little hold on that left. So you're bending him right in spite of the left rein. This is how you get him to take hold on the soft rein. By half off, good, and give through the right rein. Okay, push. Now stay back with your upper body. You go straight to back, remember. You don't go forward to straight. You go straight to back. So you're almost left behind, otherwise you can't push him. Upper, inside. Oh, good. Nice downward. Really nice downward. He came together nicely, and he tracked up really well from behind. He didn't splat. Yeah, get him around first. Remember, it's only when he's soft that you can ask to depart. So that might be squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. On the third squeeze, ask and release through the inside ring. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Make sure he's not up like that. Squeeze, squeeze. You can do it like squeeze, 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 then take a half off, then give, then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze again, and on the third squeeze, ask, and release through the right ring. Okay? So it's a lot of talk. That a girl. Guard the haunch. That a girl. That a girl. Good job. And sit. <laughs> and remember, sit, boom, boom, and ask. Don't lean forward. And ask. <laughs> that one he ran into a little bit. Okay. <laughs> And you take and give, and take and give, and you're still always working on that right rein to soften him up there. And that doesn't mean throwing away the left rein, because that's the one you want him to take hold on. Okay, I want to depart, not to run into, so you got to get him soft. <clears throat> and he's got to demonstrate a moment of self-carriage. And then you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze again, because otherwise he's going to get away from you when you go to ask. How do they react to seat and legs? Their head goes up. So you have to get them round and down and not throw them away until he actually lifts into the canter. And I don't mean throw them away, but I mean, you know, give on the right ring, which is the one you have to give on because the stiff ring is the one he'll pull on when he goes into it. Good, keep them together. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And, every, and somewhere in there, on the release of the squeeze, or on the last take of the squeeze, you ask by shoving with your inside seat bone and upper inside leg forward. Good, good. And don't let him run. Slow him down into it. He's gotta be slow. It's almost like you're gonna walk. So do a sitting trot the whole time instead of posting and then sitting, because he knows something's coming now. So sit the trot and squeeze, 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 and talk, talk, talk. And just before you ask, it's like a half halt and you're slowing him down uh, I don't really mean slow because your legs get stronger. I mean collected. You want more animation, but on a smaller, uh, not so forward, just more up and down. That a girl. Because you'll be happy to go there. Because the more you collect a horse, the more they don't want to. <laughs> so then you can ask the department, he goes, oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Good. Take, take, take. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. <laughs> don't let him do that. <laughs> Okay, okay, he is. Keep, your, keep, keep them even, get them really 
comfortable like you're not going to canter, like he doesn't think you're going to canter every second. <clears throat> Good. Soften up, add a girl. Push, push, push. Off your seat forward. Push, 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 push. And don't get your upper body forward. So you lift your rib cage, drop your shoulders. Leave your rib cage up. You want that separation between the rib cage and your hip bones. And then when you go to do it, you tighten your core, shove the inside seat bone forward, and hold it there. Don't take it off. And don't let them run into it. Half halt, half halt into it. Half halt, shove, hold, release. Hold the seat bone, release the ring once he canters. Take and give, take and give, take and give. So you half halt, you shove the seat bone forward, you hold it there, you release through the inside rein when he actually lifts into the canter. But you almost have to use your reins to help lift him. Help lift him. That a girl, that a girl. See, you helped lift him that time. That was much better. See, you don't let him fall into it. You want him to lift into it. Good, really good. Now, upper, inside, leg, in, 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 keeping your upper body back. Yeah, so you go straight to back. So you almost feel a little left behind. It's a feeling, it's not a look, because it looks more elegant when you're perpendicular.